Og vi skal også ha annonser. And Knut, og Knut will um, have it on Facebook. Og han vil ta det opp på internet. Ja, yeah. because this is very important. For det er veldig viktig. It is about fulfilling. Det er å oppfylle. The most important command that mest, Jesus has given us. Viktig hva Jesus befalte oss. Yes. We shall go out. Vi skal gå ut. It doesn't say that we shall go out and save people. Bibelen sier at vi skal gå ut og frelse mennesker. We shall much more. Mye mer. We shall go out. Vi skal gå ut. And make disciples. Og gjøre disipler. And that means, that okay. includes that we shall teach them. Og det betyr vi skal lære dem. Also. Okay. And equip them or utrutse dem so that they are ready for fight so they're clear for come for the kingdom of god for you see again i was in a prayer meeting yeah what is for oslo for oslo one tuesday morning in tuesday morning I was together with Oliver. Jag var sammans med Oliver. And suddenly Oliver said to me. Och plötsligt sa Oliver till mig. Daddy, I see a lady standing in the middle of the room. Pappa, jag ser en dam som står i mitten av rummet. And she has her hands outstretched. Och hon har händerna rakt ut. She is dressed in a white shining wedding gown. Hun er kledd i en hvit skinnende brudredress. A lovely lady. En kjærlighetsfull dame. Immediately, med en gang, I got the interpretation. Fikk jeg tydningen. We went out, and we went up and told about it. Og vi gikk frem og fortalte om det. And the interpretation was the following. Og tydelsen var slik. The lady was the bride of Christ. Damen var Kristi brud. That's all of us. 
Die hebben al ons. His people. Hans volk. It was to appear. One was that we should prepare ourselves. Eén ding waar het verschil bij voorbereid. And be ready. Oh, I'm glad. Let God purify ourselves. No, good and so sure. And then the other appear. Or the other was that we should invite to the wedding. That means that we should evangelize. And this film is about evangelization. Or then the film is about evangelization. Evangelism is about revival. Evangelization is about baptism. And it has been prophesied that it, it shall be revival in Oslo and Norway. At det skal bli vekkelse i både Salvese staten og Norge. This year. Dette år. Are we guaranteed that this revival will come? Er vi garantert at vekkelse vil komme? Not at all. Ikke det helt annet. Because it depends on us. For det avhenger av oss. Because we shall be the co-workers of God. For we shall be the samarbeid partner with God. Think of the high position that God has given us. Think, think of the high position God has given us. We shall be co-workers with the Almighty God. We shall be the samarbeid partner with the Almighty God. Isn't that wonderful? Is it fantastic? And if we don't do anything, or we do not, God will not do. Anything, because he will not break his own principles. For how many can break his own principles? That it shall be a cooperation between us and him. That it shall be a samarbeid between him and us. We can read in the book of Daniel. We can read in Daniel's book that Daniel was reading the prophecy that the Jews should come back to Israel. At the Daniel is the prophecy that the Jews should come back to Israel. After seventy years. After seventy years. Now the Jews had been deported, or most of them been deported to Babylonia. No, how do you first that they were taken out to Babylonia? And then Daniel did not sit down and praise God and rejoice. And the longing to the prophecy should be fulfilled. Og da han satt seg ikke bare ned og priste Gud og æret Gud for hans løfter. But he started to pray. Men han begynte å be. And work. Og jobbe. That the prophecy should be fulfilled. At prophesien skulle bli oppfylt. After three weeks. Etter tre uker. Da han hadde vært fasting og praying. Da han hadde fastet og bedt. Then he got visit from the angel Gabriel. Da fikk han besøk av engelen Gabriel. Who said that he had been fighting. Og han sa jeg har kjempet. And that the prayer had now been answered. Og det bønnen hadde nå blitt besvart. But that it had been a hard fight. Men det hadde vært en hard kamp. Because the angel Gabriel had been fighting against the prince of Persia. For England Gabriel had kämpat med Pyrrhusen av Persia. Who is one of the devil's highest generals? En av djävulens högsta generaler. He had and he has the task to destroy Israel. Han hadde muligheter til å ødelegge Israel. And hinder that the Jews should come back. Og hinder at jødene vil komme tilbake. Ja. And the prince of Persia. Og fyrsten av Persia. Still working today. Han virker fortsatt i dag. Who is he? Hvem er han? Rick John has proposed that it is the spiritual power behind Islam. Ja, Rick Johnny har sagt at det kan være makten bak islam. Ja. And we have been in confrontation 
vi leser Pannet av. Og den makten har vi konfrontert? In our work in Disco Church. I vårt arbeid i Disco Church. Because uh, most Muslims, fordi de fleste muslimer, they have been brought up in a hatred to Israel. De har blitt oppdratt i hat mot Israel. And that is something that we have to purify them for. Og det er noe som vi må rense dem fra. Ja. When they convert, når de gir seg over, to Christianity, til kristendom, we must teach them. Så må vi lære dem. Ja. That is a very important thing. Det er veldig viktig. That we shall follow the whole uh, Great Commission. Hele misjonsbefalingen. Vi skal ikke stoppe når de er selv. Vi skal ikke bare stoppe når de er selv. But we shall make them disciples. Men vi skal disipulere dem. And teach them. Og lære dem. Mathias Lekardal has prophesied about revival in Norway. Mathias har profetert om vettelse i Norge. That should start this year. Så vi starter dette år. But he says, there are some conditions. Men han sier at det er noen betingelser. We must have faith. Vi må tro. That this revival is possible to get. At denne vektelsen er mulig å få. We must pray, pray, pray. Vi må be, be. And we must proclaim it. Og vi må proklamere det. And we have to be obedient to the Holy Spirit when He leads us how we should do this. Når han leder oss, hvordan vi skal gjøre det. We must have a will to sacrifice. Vi må ha vilje til å ofre. We must have unity among the Christians and purity. Vi må ha unity blant de kristne og er i enhet. Unity and purity. Enhet og enhet. And we mentioned also that we should have a focus on Israel. Og han også fokuserer at vi må fokusere på Israel. Israel should be included in our prayers and our work. Jesus, Israel må være inkludert i våre bønner. Ja. So, that is for us to remember. Det er så vi skal huske det. Ja. And it should go so. In his teaching, og et silvos i sin lære, he is emphasizing, han understreker, that we should not have too small thoughts about God and God's power, og at vi ikke må få lite tanke om Gud og hans kraft, and that we shall know, og at vi skal vite, that God wants to give his power to us, at Gud vil gi sin makt til oss, if we go in his plans. Om vi går i hans plan. He mentions, han nevner, some important things in the New Testament. Noen viktige ting i Nye Testamentet. Especially, in Acts of the Apostles, Særlig Apostlenes gjerninger, Promises of God, Guds løfter, To give us this power, Og gi oss denne kraften, If we want to have it, Om vi vil ha det, We have to pray for it, Vi må be om det, And it is in the Gospel it says, Og evangelien det sier, That God will not deny to give us his power, power of the Holy Spirit. Gud vil ikke være imot å gi oss en helgens kraft. If we pray. Om vi vil. And in the first Corinthians. Og i første Korintherne. Chapter 14. 14. Verse 1. Verse 1. It's emphasized that we shall.